Easier says the Steelers will be ready to break through the Patriots playoff roadblock. Uh, the issue here saying that the Steelers have a Patriots problem says the entire league actually <laughs> does. Yeah. Uh, Lou, considering how much success the Patriots have had in the recent years, do you think that the league has a problem? Well, they have a problem beating them for sure. And, and this is a program that everyone has really tried to emulate. But the thing that they can't really emulate is the level of accountability that Bill Belichick holds this roster to on a day in and day out type of basis. You you hear about it, but until you experience it, you don't really know what the kind of the kind of pressure that he really puts on players up there. And, it, and it's something to behold. Look, I experienced it in a different form when he was in Cleveland. He was really trying to get the program off the ground and running there. And now he took it to New England and just took it to a whole new level. He's a master team builder, a master motivator, a master tactician. And then when you give him the type of weapons that he was able to acquire this year. Look, it, it's almost unfair. Yeah. It's almost unfair to kind of players he was able to add this year because he beats you with players that if you took his players, you probably couldn't get the same results out of them. Mm. But if he took yours, he could beat you if he gave you his. And that's just the greatest compliment you can give him. And it's, it's just the way it is. And that the old Bum Phillips yeah, something uh, quote like about Don yeah, Shula. I, 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 right? I kind of messed no, it up. No, but it's good. It's good. You got the point. You took like three Absolutely. different yeah. phrases and put <laughs> sure. one, but I liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it you worked. Know? Uh, you know, so, so we talk about this, but... Uh, we, we, we know most of the league is going to hate them, but does anyone, any of these teams, actually have a chance? Who, who, who could beat the Patriots? Yes, teams have a chance, and the Steelers see themselves as such a team. They're always in the playoffs. They, they sort of expect to run up against the Patriots in the postseason. If they can get everyone healthy and on the field at the same time for a playoff game against the Patriots, you might see uh, them possibly be the team that can knock them off because they can score with them. But uh, one game, anything can happen, but... You know, the point of the matter is the Patriots are always going to be in, in the way of everyone who's trying to get to the Super Yeah, school. Raiders, Chiefs, and Steelers. That's who I think is going to be able to bring them down. We'll see. Uh, James Winston aiming to be elite, according to his head coach. It's our final headline here. So, Lewis, what does James need to do to take the next step this year if, if we want to start using the word elite when we talk sure. to James Winston? I think, obviously, cutting down on turnovers, mastering situational football, and then thirdly, this is something that we discovered as we were leading up to the draft, and they drafted O.J. Howard in the first round. Jameis could still use, stand to utilize the middle of the field, the area the, between the numbers, better than he does. He struggled as far as completion percentage in that part of the football field, and now with the drafting of O.J. Howard, he has a guy like Cameron Braid adding Deshaun Jackson, which really just spreads the field horizontally and vertically. If he can do those things – take care of the football, be better situationally, and throw the ball between the numbers better, that's probably a good place to start. But he's already on his way. I mean, he's already on his way. A lot of teams would love to have Jameis Winston on their roster. And a lot of winning already for mm -hmm. a guy at his stage in the league. And obviously he expects more. They wanted to make the playoffs last year. But, yeah, the addition of Deshaun Jackson, <laughs> they really do think will open up that middle of the field. So the completions for Winston will be easier there. They need to figure out the run game there, but they really believe they're loaded up in the passing game and that their young offensive linemen are developing in a way that will maximize his chances. Very, very high expectations for that offense in Tampa Bay this year. I remember going free agency, talking to a couple of the Tampa Bay coach, texting them, who are you looking at, who are you looking at, and all they wanted was Deshaun Jackson. That was the game plan as soon as that opened up, you know, and I even asked a couple of them, even, even at the age of 30, Deshaun Jackson still has got it. They said on tape, he's still as quick as ever. So, sure. so they're obviously 